In this video, I'm going to introduce the Cartesian or Rectangular Coordinate System. Here's an example of it. And this system is based around two number lines. I have my horizontal number line shown here. That is called the x-axis. And on this number line, here is the zero of the number line. My positive numbers go to the right. My negative numbers go to the left. And we've marked it off here in increments of one. So I have one, two, three, four, five, etc. But they're only labeled in every other increment for clarity's sake. So now that is the x axis. Now we need to look at the vertical number line shown here. And that is called the y axis. Again, zero is here. I go up in the, for the positive y values, down for the negative y values. These two number lines or axes divide the plane into four regions. I have one here, 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 and here. And we start in the top right, that is called quadrant one. In quadrant one, both x and y values are positive. Then when we label the quadrants, we go counterclockwise. So quadrant two is over here, where my x's are negative, my y's are positive. Going down here to quadrant three, both x and y are negative. And finally, in quadrant four, my x values are positive, my y values are negative. Every point in this coordinate system can be uniquely identified by an ordered pair. An ordered pair is written in parentheses. We write the x coordinate first, then a comma, then the y coordinate. And the most important point is right here, where the two axes intersect. And this is called the origin. So that point there is the origin. And it has the coordinates. The x value is 0 and the y value is 0. So its ordered pair is 0, 0. The reason why it's so important is that's where we start plotting every single point. Now let's plot some points. I need to plot all of these points. Remember with ordered pairs, x coordinate comes first, then the y coordinate. It's easy to remember, it's alphabetical. So if I have the point A that is, has the coordinates negative seven, five, that means x equals negative seven and y equals five. Well, when we plot points, we will start at the origin right here x is negative 7, it means you have to go to the left 7 units. y is positive 5, so then from that point you move up 5 units. So there is my point A. Point B has the coordinate 6, negative 3, so x is 6, so again start at the origin. x is positive 6, so you move to the right 6 units y is negative 3, so you go down from there 3 units. There is my point B. The next point has the coordinates negative 2, negative 4. Start at the origin. x is negative 2, go left 2. y is negative 4, so you're going to have to go down 4 units. So there's point C. Moving on, D is 5, 3, so X is 5, here's the origin, 5 to the right, and then 3 up. Now we need to look at point E that has the coordinates 0, negative 5. Be careful with this one, this is the one students mess up on the most. When X is 0, and y is negative 5. What a lot of students do, they start at the origin, they ignore the 0, they think it's not important, and go, oh, negative 5, x is negative 5, I need to go to the left 5 units and plot this point. That is incorrect. 
If x is zero, it means go nowhere in the x direction. So I'm going to stay here on the y axis. And then I just have to go down five units on the y axis. So that is the point E. So be careful with E. F is six zero. So X is six. Y is zero. So I'm going to go six to the right. Nowhere in up or down. So there is my point F. Now you know how to plot points. Let's do everything in reverse. Here I plotted a bunch of points. I want you to figure out the coordinates. So remember, x comes first, y second. So if I look at point A going down to the x-axis, what's its x value? 3. Going across to the y-axis, what's the y value? 7. So A has the coordinates 3, 7. B, what is its x-coordinate? I've gone nowhere in the x-direction, so it's 0. What's the y value? 4. C, what is its x value? Negative 4. And the y value is positive 6. D, what is the x value of this point? It is halfway between negative 6 and negative 8, so it's negative 7. And what's the y value? It is 0, because you go nowhere in the y direction. E. What's its x-coordinate? Negative 4. Y-coordinate is negative 8. Last point, F. The x-coordinate up here, what is it? It's 5. The y-coordinate is negative 6. So that's how you read the coordinates of points from the graph.